Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at Avalon Ecotech Pro 28R2. So the problem in today's video what we're going to be looking at is no central heating. The hot water is working okay but there's no central heating. So if you look at the front panel here you can see this funny symbol. So we're going to find out what that is. But before we do I just want to give you a little bit of a backstory on this boiler. Apparently there's been about four engineers been out to it um, saying various problems about this central heating problem. So the last engineer, what he said, it needed a new pump which is replaced. That's a box down there. What's been replaced was the new pump in there. In fact there's the old one down there. Anyway, so various guys have done various jobs. Pump was the last one. Hot water's working, but he said there's no heating. You've got a blockage. You need to get someone out to see what the blockage is. And this is why I'm here. So that's a little backstory about where we're at. Okay, so what we'll now do, we're gonna show you what this means. So basically, this symbol means that the heating is off. And what that represents um, basically it's like a like you're on a beach and that's a sun um, big umbrella over your deck chair and it means the sun so it means the heating is off basically so to resolve this problem what we do we press this button here like that you can see off heating off so what we're now going to do just press the plus button here and now you can see the 75 degrees we're going to do that tick there like that come out of this and you can see the umbrella is now gone and that means the heating is going to come on so that would have been the problem why the customer was getting no heating now the next problem what we've got we should have a big radiator symbol displaying showing that there's a demand for heating but there's not now there's no external controls on this system so what I'm going to do I'm going to drop down the panel have a look at the PCB and see what's going on in there now I'm looking at the PCB and you can see where they said 24 volts there's no link there so with no link there and no external controls then we're not going to get no demand so what we're going to do we're going to put a link in there and then see if the boiler starts for heating so we've put the link in and now look at the display you now can see the radiator symbol that means that we now have a demand for heating the bar's firing up you can see the burn light come on And there we go we now have got heating demand so there was no link as what I've shown you on the 24 volt supply and that's why we had no heating and also it was turned off with that umbrella symbol as well okay I'd like to ask you a question why are you watching this video is it you want to become an excellent bar repair engineer or do you want to build the confidence to become a bar repair engineer? R3. Do you want to build and increase your knowledge in heating systems and controls? No matter what the reason, I can teach you how to diagnose a fault and learn the techniques in replacing parts using my 30 years of knowledge and experience. And we can do this with our online and offline training program. And this training comes in four levels. So the first level is a foundational training what you're going to need which covers heating systems, hot water and controls training. Level 2, that covers the bar repair accelerated training. Now this covers gas and electric bar repairs. Level 3 is our hands-on training that's in the classroom and also on site. Level 4, that's ongoing training by the bar repair library. So, if you want to be the best engineer you can be, 
All you need to do is click on the link below and start improving yourself today.